welcome everyone i know uh, people will still come in and uh, you know now everybody seems to be going back to work being going back to office going back to school as well um uh, looks like we are finally getting past the hurdle of covid 19 um i hope all of you are safe my name is darshan doshi i am the founding director for the center for entrepreneurship and innovation at flame university uh we run we've been running this uh, webinar series called founders talk since last july uh and we've invited a lot of uh, special guests uh, such as ankit machar uh you know people who have been very active in the startup ecosystem who have uh, made india the third largest ecosystem um and continue to be on the side uh, on the ring side with the founders right uh, and um we've also had a lot of investors come in we've had uh, business leaders come in academicians entrepreneurship educators uh, come in and the response has been good uh, over the last few months uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue this founders talk series maybe for a month or two um and then we'll revisit if we will uh, you know start to organize in person sessions on the campus the beautiful campus 60 acre campus that we have at flame university uh, but in the meantime you know i think uh, it's still not safe uh, in terms of you know organizing events together so we'll continue with webinar and uh, hopefully a few people will get the benefit out of this uh, so uh, you know uh, at the flame center for uh, entrepreneurship and innovation we do a few things uh the first one is uh, we run uh, an accelerator program for early stage startups that is startups who have revenues between 5 lakhs to a crore and we call it flame origins program 19 such startups have gone through this program in fact one of those uh, called inventor robotics uh, was recently featured by cnn uh, by even shri narendra modi on how the robots created in bangalore are being used in hospitals uh, for contactless you know um healthcare uh, service uh, to patients so you know we've, we we are glad to have uh, supported um uh, balaji uh, vishwanathan who is the founder of uh, inventor robotics in his journey um you know obviously he does the heavy lifting but we are able to provide one or two things which kind of help him move to the next level of growth and for us that is very meaningful very fulfilling and that's what i and we at uh, the center for entrepreneurship at flame uh, university aspires to or works towards um we also run the flame incubator program right now we have roughly 70 odd uh students going through the incubator program it's conducted every thursday so tomorrow evening you know we have a session on traction which is uh, 19 customer acquisition channels for that startups could use for growth that i'm running for them uh, on a thursday evening from 6 to 9 um and then we run founder stock series uh, we've launched a one year post graduate program in entrepreneurship and innovation the first cohort of seven students Uh, are going through it we are getting some great applications for the next year where it will be not only um online but it will be on the beautiful campus with the newly developed sports facilities newly developed executive center and all the uh, fantastic bells and whistles that we've got here uh, for all of you right um so now coming back to today's topic uh, you know uh, india roughly has about 70 or 80000 registered startups uh, out of those about 15000 are tech startups um we support all kinds of startups i know wadwani foundation the national entrepreneurship network supports all kinds of startups whether it's service whether it's product whether it's technology whether it's manufacturing healthcare you name it right uh so um so very happy to have you know seen ankit uh support so many entrepreneurs um and i've interacted with him uh, a few times over the last couple of years and he continues to be an ecosystem partner an ecosystem uh, enabler right um, india will go to a 5 trillion dollar economy startups are going to play a big part uh, in it um 
employment uh, la largely all the new workforce is being employed by startups so we are going to see further uh, you know uh, youth uh, pushing through and building their own startups so who who is the one who kind of helps and works uh, with these startup founders who tend to be maybe first time founders uh, so that's where i guess people like ankit organizations like wadwani foundation play a big big role right and um, so a, a quick introduction uh, about uh, ankit is um, ankit heads the entrepreneurship ecosystem development vertical for uh, nen india in southeast asia and uh, mena region within which falls under the uh, wadwani foundation which is basically a billion dollar uh, philanthropic organization by uh, dr romesh wadwani an entrepreneur and investor Uh, Ankit works very closely with institutes and universities such as Flame University, uh, incubators, accelerators, investors, mentors, governments. Uh, so basically, the whole gambit of various stakeholders. Uh, he has ten years plus ex uh, experience in creating and supporting technology entrepreneurs, uh, fostering innovation, and uh, breeding uh, startup culture and its activities. Uh, he is a mentor at Startup India Hub and also a mentor of change at the Atal Tinkering Lab. So uh, previously, he has worked as manager in ecosystem development at I Create, which was you know government of Gujarat's technology business incubator. So he's been in and around uh, startups for now uh, a few years. He's been in the thick of it. So um, you know, welcome, uh, glad to have you on board on this founder talk. um the way we are going to run this is uh, ankit has created a, a quick talk for us which he'll run through over the next next maybe 30 minutes or so and then we'll have a lot of questions around it so uh, you know feel free to make this interactive if you put your questions under q and a uh, i'll bring them to ankit and hopefully we'll have a conversation and i, and I have a bunch of questions for him of how you really support a thousand entrepreneurs Right. right um it's it's just incredible that uh, number the scale of doing things is is just incredible so uh, thank you again ankit welcome uh, on founders talk and really really appreciate you taking time to join us and share uh, your experience great thank you so much dashan first of all to you and flame university for inviting me uh, pleasure to be part of uh the founder stock and uh, sharing what we are doing a uh, little bit of our efforts in what you said uh, five trillion economy uh and uh, the role that we the foundation is playing in making that happen and uh, uh good evening to everyone uh, pleasure connecting and speaking to all of you uh, as darshan said i will quickly run through a couple of slides that i have on what the foundation is and what are various programs that we are doing uh and the question that how do we create those 1000 uh, create as well as support those 1000 entrepreneurs just give me a second and i'll share my screen great uh hope my screen is visible yes perfect great so yeah so wadwani foundation a quick introduction it's a it's a us based uh, not for profit organization working uh, with with a very focused mission of accelerating economic development in emerging economies uh, currently we are present in uh, 20 plus countries asia africa and latin america uh, the whole idea is how do we help create more jobs which all these emerging economies have a, a burning issue and that's where the foundation is working uh the the foundation has been supported and inspired uh by dr ramesh wadwani uh ramesh is founder and chairman of the foundation uh a silicon valley entrepreneur and a philanthropist uh Uh, running multiple companies uh, has committed 1.5 billion dollars to the foundation and uh, currently at the age of 74 is running 42 plus companies and uh, is is always being passionate about entrepreneurship and uh, the first first seed of entrepreneurship for him started when he was in iit bombay 
uh, and as undergraduate in his second year, five, third year, he started the very first, uh, what do you say, a cafe or a canteen uh, back then in 60s, 70s, when, when there was no canteen on IIT Bombay campus. And he saw that uh, after classes and before the students go to mess at eight, eight after eight o'clock in the night, and there was no, there was no uh, thing that was available for a quick bite or something in, on the campus. And that's where he saw this opportunity, put together a couple of his friends, all of them put in 10, 10 rupees. And then that's how he got his first seed capital of 100 rupees, bought the material and started, started fulfilling the demands. And that is where the entire book of entrepreneurship uh, for him started and went to Silicon Valley, uh, started his uh, first venture, which failed miserably, the second venture again failed miserably. And eventually the third venture that he started was uh, sold for $9 billion, 99, 2000. And that's where he decided to then uh, give back. And India was the first uh, focus country, he started with the foundation. And uh, 2003 is where we officially started our first initiative called NEN, National Entrepreneurship Network, uh, where we co-founded uh, the entire initiative with five top institutes in India. Uh, I am Ahmedabad, Bits Pilani, IBAB Bangalore, SPJ, and IIT Bombay, and actually established entrepreneurship departments because at that time, I am Ahmedabad was saying, we, we, we are here to create managers. We don't want to create entrepreneurs. And that's how the journey started. We kind of created, uh, did a lot of uh, EA programs within these five institutes, created playbooks and processes and models, and then scaled it to 1,000 plus institutes in India. And uh, over the time, then uh, evangelized entrepreneurship, established e sales, faculty workshops, creating mentor programs and getting investors to be part of the entire ecosystem. And that's how the journey uh, started. Currently, we are running uh, uh, multiple verticals. Uh, since the, the mission is to job uh, is the job creation, we have three key pillars. One is called Wadwani Advantage, which works with SMEs uh, to help them grow from say 50 employee company to 100 employee company and 200 employee company so that there is a massive job creation that is happening uh, among the MSMEs. Uh, what when you entrepreneur is a vertical that I come from, which I'll talk more about uh, in detail. An opportunity is uh, working with the skilling, with existing workforce, providing them with the 21st century skills uh, so that they get better job, they are more employable and get, get into the mainstream uh, uh, jobs and get better wages. Innovate and Vadwani AI partner program uh, works in the technology part where how do we uh, bring out the emerging technologies into the into for the masses and that can be taken up by advantage or entrepreneur or the opportunity uh, stakeholders. We have horizontal verticals where uh, Vadwani Catalyst is a, is a program where we are kind of uh, looking ahead for uh, organizations that are look, doing similar work and creating larger impact and how do we help them support them so that our mission gets multiplied we we know that we can't do this alone we will need more partners and that is where Vadwani catalyst come into picture uh, and uh, recently for covid pandemic we launched a 100 crore sahayata fund where we uh, helped uh, msmes on 80 percent of that help to msme 20 percent to the startups that are working in the COVID related uh, uh, areas like telemedicine or health providing education to the health workers and so on and so forth. Uh, this is all done through technology platform uh, where we have so the training programs, the content, the tools, tracking, everything is done through our technology platform for all these, all these verticals. We have a global university. It's a training institute to train the mentors, to train the facilitators. Uh, to train the consultants for advantage uh, to, to do the job that, uh, that we've designed and the program to run the programs and market research and policies to bring out the latest research and policies. Uh, we're working with the governments. 
Vadwani Entrepreneur, uh, we have two major initiatives here again. Uh, one is called Venture Fast Track Program, uh, and the second one is NEN. Uh, NEN works primarily with institutes, universities, academic incubators to uh, empower existing aspi aspiring and existing early stage entrepreneurs with the, with the right knowledge, skill set, and the mindset uh, to create high potential startups, which eventually will create uh, jobs for the nation. Venture Fast Track is once the once the entrepreneurs, early stage entrepreneurs go through the NEN program, uh, they can get into Venture Fast Track program and uh, continue working on their venture. Currently, Venture Fast Track program is working with Niti Aayog Atal Incubation Centers in India, uh, uh, building the uh, capacities of the incubators, accelerators, training their staff and the incubation uh, incubation management. Uh, to, to build a self-sustainable uh, incubator. And then we also have programs on Venture Fast Track, which then eventually is given to the incubators of these incubators that we are currently hand-holding. And uh, we're lucky to have uh, Darshan as one of our super mentor will be, who are connected with the incubators who can bring the relevant industry experience and the and guide the incubators as well as the startups to, to grow and uh, succeed. Uh, how do we do this? For This is primarily the NEN program uh, where uh, we work with universities, institutes, and academic incubators. Uh, we have a one-year program, uh, two-part, called foundational program and advanced program. Uh, foundational program is nothing but uh, self-discovery and I, coming out with the problem worth solving and taking it to the MVP. Uh, kind of 38 to 40 hours of content uh, run through either institute faculty or uh, WF faculty or we have different facilitators that uh, take these programs for the institutes or over online uh, mechanism. The entire Program has been designed uh, where the participants come, form uh, teams, identify an idea worth solving. They, there, are, there are content on the platform that they watch. They have to work as a team and apply those concepts onto their ideas and then go out and actually implement uh, the venture. And then from MVP to market as it happens in the second part of the program, which is called advanced program, where refining of their MVP and then uh, taking it to the market is, is being uh, covered. And this is supplemented by a lot of real world exposure experience to the participants through master classes, through entrepreneur sessions. Uh, we do a lot of expert interventions. For example, uh, if they need if they need ex intervention in terms of how to file patent, how to do IPRs and all. So there is an expert intervention or a workshop, uh, expert intervention on digital marketing and how to enhance and grow their digital presence. So that's another, and all some related with tech tools and how to make an app and other things. So that those are expert interventions that we do with, with our experts. And, and then there are other things where uh, the entire program is divided into milestones and each milestone we do booster clinics, open pitch days where the participants or the teams can present their journey while they're progressing and get real-time feedback from the experts and uh, from the WF members. And there is also a supporting mechanism where uh, if they want to connect with the experts, they want to connect with the mentors, uh, around the globe, then we have a WA mentor app, which helps them uh, where they, we have onboarded uh, 300 plus mentors and experts who are available on a, a touch of button. Now, how does the program run? Uh, so as, as you, as I said, the target for us is uh, students, alumni, uh, uh, professionals with one or two, three years of experience and uh, they are either aspiring to become entrepreneur or they have done something in terms of ideas, in terms of uh, prototype and we take them into the program. Uh, there is a, a selection process that happens and if they are at idea stage, or if they, have, they don't have any idea, then right from idea to MVP is part of foundational and they start with something called practice venture, uh, wherein they the participants have to form a team and take up an idea which is worth solving 
and actually create a prototype as they progress through the journey. And then they go into the advanced and MVP to market. This is followed by a lot of support in terms of connect with the investors if they are ready, if they are fundable and ready, or connect with the incubators, accelerators, uh, if they have come out from a college program and uh, they have created an MVP, which is, which is an incubator is looking for, or in terms of if they have something which is service-based and uh, may not be a fundable startup, but they has a potential to grow organically, then how do we provide them that growth support in terms of scaling their revenue, scaling their customer base and helping them grow. And eventually what we want to achieve and is the entire program has been designed is creating high potential ventures which can support, uh, which can create jobs and then uh, support a family of four and five. That That is the matrices that we are using to kind of uh, measure our, our success. Uh, we recently also launched, uh, so while the previous program, this is done through institutes and incubators where uh, there is there is an institute that we sign up and then there is a faculty or a facilitator that is in between who's doing the entire program. We also have something called next gen program, which is direct to students, direct to entrepreneurs. Uh, it's a 10 week journey that uh, if the if the participant is very much interested, it's an online program that happens and uh, they can direct register on our website and go through the entire uh, 10 weeks of journey. So two part in this again, activate and ignite activators for high school students and uh, early college and ignite is for senior and senior college and graduates and even also for professionals and alumni uh, who are really looking uh, to start their ventures. Activate the outcome and every, every program is all outcome based. It's not just evangelizing and inspiring them to become entrepreneur. It's basically the outcome that we are looking from Activate is MVP and from Ignite, we, the participants launch real ventures. And there are a lot of rewards and recognition in terms of support, in terms of incubation, in terms of certification and everything. So that, that's, the, that's the benefit of the program. And this is how the process happens at us. Uh, like how do we, when we come to thousand plus entrepreneurs, there is a set process, there is a structure. And at every stage, there is a program. Uh, so from practice venture to potential real venture is what happens in, and they get into advanced course or ignite. And then they, they get into a validated real venture stage. These get into either venture fast track or these get again connected to incubators and early stage investors where they take them through the next process and they, they are on their journey to scale and growth. Now, the very question that uh, Darshan has been asking, like, how do we how do we support so many students? And uh, just to give you a, a, a for this year's, we have kept ourselves a niche target to go to around 20,000 plus participants uh, through our program uh, in India alone and uh, uh, 6,000 ventures that would be created is what we are aiming ourselves for and of that we, we sincerely believe that uh, uh, 3,000 of them would, would be at MVP and launch stage and this is all done through our technology platform and a lot of uh, use of technology in the entire process. So the entire content, the program, the tools and templates are available on our uh, platform, which is called LearnWise. And it's a video-based do-it-yourself kind of uh, uh, method where the participants watch the videos, they understand the concept, they get into the class, discuss the, pro discuss the concept with the facilitator and work on their uh, venture and idea and then go on to the next level and achieve milestone wise uh, process journey and entirely based on lean methodology. So you, you kind of build it, go out, test it with the customers, come back, take the feedback, iterate, in, uh, incorporate the feedback, go back and test it and again, come back so that they, they learn fast. If they have to fail, they fail fast and then eventually get into market with a better uh, validated product directly by the customer and eventually uh, launching real venture. The focus is to help them launch real venture. 
uh, as I said, this is supported by a lot of 360 degree support in terms of master classes, in terms of expert interventions, open pitch days, open hours. Uh, we have a mentor app, which which is a global global community and mentors across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Up the part, so there is a lot of the the participants or the entrepreneurs can connect among their peers as well as mentors from across uh, these countries. And these are some of the programs uh, benefits that the participants get. Like uh, we we do once they have gone through successfully through the program, uh, we take them to the investors, we take them to the early stage uh, venture funds, uh, through the ones that are at MVP stage, and then take them to put them into the incubators and accelerators where their the journey can continue. Uh, through our mentor app, we are doing a lot of one, there is a lot of one to one mentoring sessions that is happening uh, with part of global community where, uh, uh, where they can connect with the like, uh, like kind of ventures across the other geographies like Philippines or Indonesia or Africa, or Latin America, or Brazil, and collaborate together so that they can they can do learn from what they the other uh, team is doing with a similar idea or similar project. And then a lot of support in terms of their social media and uh, through our service pro partner service providers like AWS and payment gateways. Uh, these are the some event programs that we do like where we, we invite investors and then uh, the startups get a chance to pitch to them and then investors are, and the, the, the ones that show interest in the startup, they are connected and facilitated and so that the journey can continue. Similarly, uh, we do this with the incubators where uh, incubators are there as, as part of the panel and startups get a chance to pitch to the incubators and if they, if they match the incubators criteria, they, get, they can continue and get incubated into the system. Uh, these are programs for our alumni startups. Once they have uh, done our program, they have gone through the entire foundational advance or activate ignite. They get a con ongoing continuous support from the foundation where uh, 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 on how do they scale, how do they build their more, they build, build their A team or advisory board or how to connect and network with the investors and all. So that that's happening through Venture Voyage program. And we we recently introduced something called NEN Circle, uh, which is basically uh, uh, connect, collaborate, and co-create kind of uh, uh, model where uh, a limited seat, 15 are 15 ventures coming together and uh, sharing what they are doing and what they need from the group. And then each group uh, Ankit, are you there? And this is about the mentor app, which is basically uh, one touch connect with the mentor. If you send request to the right mentor and then you can connect as entrepreneur. And, uh, and if the mentor accepts and sees that there is a potential in your startup, if the profile is built correctly, uh, then accepts the connect and then you can chat and also So do your Zoom meeting. And additionally, there are a lot of additional content and uh, articles and case studies that we have put were put on the app, which uh, both the sites, entrepreneurs as well as mentors, advisors can can uh, uh, go through and engage themselves. So yeah, that's pretty much about the foundation and how we are doing our. geographies with similar presence, uh, working with 100 plus institutes uh, and 15 incubators in India. Uh, we have around 80 faculties that are helping us uh, deliver the content, deliver the entire program. They've been trained by us and then they are, they've done multiple cycles uh, of the entire program. So they now understand the, the entire essence of the program. And uh, some of the programs uh, we run as a, we have our own in-house faculties and mentors 
who run the program for the institute's incubators if they don't have a facilitator uh, at their end. And that is that is how we kind of uh, uh, create entrepreneurs. And that's that's the presentation that I wanted to share and now open to question answers. Perfect. Thank you, Ankit. Could you stop sharing? Uh, I think there were some bandwidth issues uh, in between. Uh, nonetheless, you know, we can't see you. I can't see you. Um, Is it? Yeah. Uh, can you stop sharing? Maybe I, just the video. I, we can't see your video. I can't one see. second. One second. I think. Uh, uh, thanks, participants, for joining. If you have any questions, you can just put in some questions. Um, in the meantime, I'll begin, uh, you know, Ankit, uh, there's just probably too much that Vadwadi Foundation is doing, right? I mean, the, one of the things is to get lost amongst uh, so many initiatives that Vadwadi Foundation uh, launches. Um, so, Ankit, are you there? I'm there, actually, I'm able to hear, yeah. but not sure. Uh, it's, it's... That's all right. We can see your screen, though. We can see okay. your desktop screen. <laughs> but it's, it's uh, got hanged, so I can't do anything. Yeah. Um, okay. I hope okay. this, okay. this so will good. set it out. In any case, um, uh, so Ankit, here's the question, right? Uh, working with so many student entrepreneurs and National Entrepreneurship Network is primarily focused towards uh, potential ventures, uh, potential real ventures, right? Um, and we have a few of them in the audience. I can see Preeti Shinde, uh, who was my student, uh, who graduated from Flame University and then has launched her own venture right now. She's part of the incubator program. Um, and she's also, you know, launching, uh, formally launching at a larger scale. So um, how can she focus on her venture while benefiting from one of these programs? Back. Sorry, I got cut off in between. You'll have to repeat the question. Yeah, so we have a student over here, a former student of mine, Preeti Shinde, who right. graduated last year. She launched her own business, uh, you know, so she's gone from potential venture to potential real venture. Hmm. So, and she's working on, on that business full time. So how could she benefit from one of the initiatives, you know, so many initiatives that are there at Vadwani Foundation? Hmm. What's the best way for her to engage with, uh, with you? So if, if she's already gone through a structure program and is already working, uh, then the, the, the only, the, the right program would be venture fast track program uh, through our incubator or even venture fast track program, we have a direct to entrepreneur program where the ones that are already at a uh, validated real venture stage, for say example, they've already had some uh, traction, the MVP is right, the business model is, kind of established and uh, they have some revenues and customers, then the right program would be, so So uh, that's the stage where the Venture Fast Track program takes over and we kind of, it's a continuum for us. So NEN programs works with high school, uh, with uh, students, with alumni, with professionals, uh, one or two years. And with early stage from idea to MVP and MVP to uh, ready market ready launch. And then it goes to the venture fast track. They have different programs and then uh, MSME is the next advantage. So it's, a, it's an entire continuum for Vadwani Foundation where uh, at every stage, there is a separate program that they can uh, they can get into and then can, they can get out. Continue. As well. Awesome. Uh, here's a question from Ravi Akotia. Uh, is Vadwani Foundation uh, helping to create ventures in an existing business uh, and with product development? Right. So uh, interesting question. So uh, we don't give any idea. Uh, we don't provide any sort of that these are the areas that you should be working with. Uh, the program starts with understanding yourself. You, uh, it's more of self-exploration and identifying and discovering yourself and understanding what you are good at, what are your strengths, what you want to do over, over the life. Because 
entrepreneurship is not like two years I will work and then I may may jump off to another job and all that. But it's it's a it's a lifelong it's a lifelong thing that that you are getting into. So unless and until you do something which is which is close to your heart, you'll not be able to go uh, very far. So. the program starts with understanding yourself self discovery you then form identifying an idea which is which is worth solving as well as is close to your heart and then you take on to the 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 next milestones and all excellent so uh, here's a question again you know uh, flame university is uh, uh, it's got its own center for entrepreneurship and now india roughly has about 400 incubators right, right? uh of course there's a venture fast track program but how can you know so for example we've had roughly 100 startups uh, or founders uh, uh that we've interacted with how can we team up such that you know they can go from what they have benefited with us to the ecosystem that wadwani foundation has only maybe from either introductions that might be needed potential customers potential investors is there a way by which um, you know we could collaborate where the startups could get such a benefit uh so sure uh so there is there is one way where if they can be part of any of the program then they get into the vadwani cohort somehow and then automatically all the doors opens up okay right? so uh we since we are not an incubator or we are not an investor uh, anyone coming for to us with that expectation uh, we will not be able to help uh, all we have is a network that is available and our we are very clear our role is to create the capacity build the capacity give them the right skill set and the knowledge set and then uh, also bring in the network through the platform through the technology where uh everyone can then play their own role like investors can play their role to invest mentors can play their role to mentor uh service providers give their services to the startups and so and so so excellent excellent and uh any events uh, you i saw you talk about you know the demo day um and right. couple of the other events is right. there a way by which you know some of our participants can uh, view watch or even if it's a done event there was one in january can they is this uh, publicly available where they could view it no so uh, these programs are exclusive and one on one uh, where the startup is pitching their venture plan to the incubator uh, to the investors directly so usually these are all closed program but the master classes the webinars the the expert interventions that we are doing uh, they are open to the participants so uh, we can we can definitely share uh the links with the institute and then institute can always uh, uh, uh promote this uh second these are available on our youtube channel once we do this uh record them on the mentor app as well as on the youtube channel and uh, the youtube channel is open so uh, accessible to everyone to to watch and go through this so yeah. so you've been different. sending me the links to the various master classes that you've yes. been conducting yes. and so some of our uh, incubators have actually benefited from them uh, you mm-hmm. know you are able to attract certain big names uh, as well so right. that's always great to see here's right. a question by preeti shinde is there a specific process to apply for the fast track program are you aware of the process right so so there is no there is there is uh, this is available and we I'll, I'll, i can share more details uh, available uh, there is an entire application process that needs to be done and uh, once you do the application then the team gets in touch with you understand more with you. so uh, it's it's basically the simple application process that any program would have and then uh, if if eligible uh, the the team gets in touch with you and then you can continue into the program great um so we don't have any more questions what uh, i have maybe a couple more questions um of the uh, so what's the count today of the thousand startups do you do you have it at the top of your mind so thousand we have already achieved last year uh, okay right so they are currently in the process of getting verified and validated by an external jury uh, we have done so the process is like we 
we work with them we work with the students create the ventures and the ones that are promising we put it on a third party platform to get it verified by juries external juries and once they verify it's where we say that the, they have a potential real venture and they they are certified by the external uh, pool of mentors and juries that we have uh, so that already is done last year 2020 this year's as a, if i can say the target is uh, uh, around 2500 ventures that's it <laughs> that's it <laughs> <laughs> I, I I always so wonder, you know, such honest, modest uh, targets. <laughs> to be to be very honest, uh, these are early stage. So majority, seventy percent of them students. Uh, the idea is they usually don't start immediately. Twenty uh, percent of them start immediately, but eighty percent of them go for their masters or go uh, or take a job and go. But, what we have seen eventually is two years three years four years down the line they have come back uh, or started with another idea or have taken so the the mindset is built the, the entrepreneurial leadership has been inculcated uh, it's only that not today maybe five years down the line they will start and uh, uh, even if they and we are sure that they will start sometime in in the next five to 10 years yeah so i mean that's a great uh, statistic right uh, uh, you know i'm on the advisory board on the babson college collaborative and um, babson college which is number one in entrepreneurship for roughly 30 years i'm also an alumni over there um, the statistics kind of agree even with a school such as babson which right. has been around for uh, almost 100 years now correct um and over there from babson alumni uh, even though only aspiring entrepreneurs go there um at the end of the program less than 3% actually start a venture correct but 5 years later They over do. 85% are entrepreneurs yes so i think it's not only about the immediate uh, benefit but rather you got to think of it from a decade standpoint and uh, you know are you we all have financial situations we have family situations we have our own selves which we kind of have some challenges around so um, i'm really really kind of you so, know so romesh is very a, passionate and is very clear uh, over the next 10 years he's he's seeing that if we can work together to create 1 million entrepreneurs now the seed has to happen now that then eventually 5 years 10 years down the line they will they will be reaching to the 1 million figure yeah yeah that's, that's where we all of us are working passionately to to meet that target excellent uh, does anybody have any questions otherwise we can wrap up a, a little early today i'm sure uh, ankit has few other things to do as well um i hope you found some benefit in this session um so if you have any last maybe last question or two otherwise we will uh, wrap up uh, right away okay so uh, i'll make a quick announcement we have uh, ajay bhagwat who comes uh, who's the founder of renu electronics uh, he is one of the top entrepreneurs from pune uh, a fellow thai charter member so we've got him uh, next wednesday we are changing the timings from 6:30 to 5 pm uh, so please uh, note that uh, for people like tarun who attend week after week uh, so this is great and uh, again ankit thanks for taking time i know it's been a busy day it's been a busy time of the year for you um, you know there are so many initiatives so many founders to help so i really appreciate the support that you've been giving uh, me personally the flame center for entrepreneurship um and just you know the good work that you've been doing again i cannot thank you enough for the time that time and effort and support that you give and uh, if there's anything else we could do please do reach out definitely and thank you so much for inviting and pleasure speaking to you always always available uh, for any kind of uh, program that we 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 are doing so Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all participants. You have a good evening and I'll see you next week.